Hi all, it's Linkstorm and this is part 18 of my Let's Play for The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. I think I showed you almost all of the mini games in chapter 1 except Dice Poker. Yeah, I know there is a game of throwing daggers with Wes, but it requires the ability to throw daggers. That's the core of this game, and I don't possess it in uh, this build. So, uh, the only one that remains is poker. Dice poker, in our case. And I'll beat all local champions using save lot. So it would uh, look like a seamless experience. And uh, I'll leave Sender for the next video, you will know why. Left hook! Watch out for the left hook! What do you want? Care for a game of dice? I'll play you if you beat those two. Punches lights out! Sick. Yes. Do my eyes deceive me, or are you Witcher Geralt? What can I do for you? My cousin from Vizima claims you're good at dice. I can play. If word gets out that we've a good contender, better players are likely to show up. The stakes will rise. Maybe even I'm a dowser. So, will you play? Sure. Great. We only play for fun, but Zindrab fancies himself a master. I won't play any old challenger. Show us what you can do, and who knows, I might sit down with you. He's fucking God. Care for a game? You win. Left hook! Watch out for the left hook! Who's the other one? Care to roll some dice? Oh, it's a nerve in a bit. I want a chance to win my coin back. Okay. What do you want? Care for a game of dice? Shall we roll a few rounds? You won. I don't care for a rematch. No. Try Ina Gorzel from the Craftsman's District. Beat him and who knows? Maybe even Sendler will agree to play you. Thanks. Here comes the Witcher. Nonsense. 
Just nonsense. Yeah. Greetings. What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Do we know each other? I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel, fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with a non-human community. Oh, here's that one. Books in Flotsam? I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey, many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books, sometimes they have tomes to sell. Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tansevo purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries, the Exeter Treaties, complete and unabridged, plus a very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. I should add, as generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community specifically to the Fund for Widows and Orphans. The non-humans in Flotsam are organized? We aren't, but we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorbeth. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. <laughs> well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up, the women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Moral of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair. I want to play dice. All right. Shall we? Let's try. I'm lost! Hand over the coin. Here, but I'll not play you anymore. Uh -huh. okay. So, who is up for a game around here? Sandler's the best. We'll see. Okay. Let's try it. Mind if I have a look at your books? Take your time. No hurry. I think I'll go with the Cintron Pendulum because I don't like it comparing to other ones, so... I will keep it for this chapter and then change it to the next one. Okay, 40 orange. Hmm. Maybe not that bad. And I need to defeat Sandler and dice poker. <laughs> 